All right, so um, I'm here um, at another shoot, like always, with my boy. It's a special shoot, actually. Uh, this is my boy, Greg, right here, Greg Smith. Uh, he was in another modeling video I did. I'm sure you remember that. Here's a link to the video right here. Um, but I just want to tell you guys how excited I am. He's like my best friend or one of my best friends. Uh, Chris James, shout out to Chris James. Let's shout out to Chris James. <laughs> <laughs> Lives in Uxbridge or wherever, I don't even know. <laughs> but <laughs> the moral of the story is um, we're doing a style shoot, not a style shoot, but we're doing an engagement shoot with multiple different uh, styles uh, for he and his lovely fiance, uh, Carlene. I'm not going to show her right now because I don't think she wants to be on camera, but soon enough you'll see some of the stills. We're going to start out with the A7 Mark III. That's what we're going to be shooting with, I should say. We're not starting out with that. And um, we are going to be starting out with, what, a casual look or a dressy look? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's casual and dressy. Whatever. Business cash. <laughs> Business cash. Um, I think I'm going to start out with a 50 millimeter um, F1.4 art series by Sigma. I think I'll start there and then maybe use this bad boy here. The... Uh, the Canon uh, 7200 so I am gonna get set and ready and then we'll get going so tip number one um, when you are doing an engagement shoot or any kind of shoot at all uh, always factor in about the first 20 minutes uh, as just throwaway minutes and throwaway images because the talent needs time unless they're professionals the talent needs time to kind of get used to being in front of the camera being comfortable in front of the camera so you got to kind of factor that in um, if you get one or two usable stills in the first 20 minutes that's great but if you get nothing it's all good because that's when people oh well we should be okay because i am a former <laughs> actor and carlene has been in front of the camera as well of course working uh Makeup. Okay. Sure. I've been behind the camera. Not been behind the camera. Oh, okay. And and it's different now because <laughs> you guys are going to be showing um, affection. Um, you guys are going to be all dressed up. It's just a different environment, oh, right? Okay. So, okay. so you know, there's things that you should always keep in mind for that. All right, so um, we just finished the first part of our session. Uh, as you can see, some of these photos that I edited in some editing program, it might be Lightroom, might be something else, depends on how I feel. But <laughs> I shot with a variety of lenses. So I shot with, started out actually with the 70 to 200 Canon, went to the Art Series Sigma 35 uh, 1.4, and then I went to the 50 Art Series. Um, sometimes the autofocus was struggling, but I was getting some really, really cool shots and interesting uh, sort of compressed backgrounds. So I figured, you know what, why not? So now we're going to go uh, leave this beautiful green space in Toronto, in the east end of Toronto. I don't know why they picked this place, but it's all right. <laughs> and then we're going to go to uh, grab a quick bite. And after that, we're going to do some a little bit of street photography because I really like this look that they have uh, by our amazing stylist Nikki here's her Instagram handle right here and um, so she put together some really cool looks so we really want to take advantage of this sort of denim and white uh, ensemble and um, I think that the green really allowed them to pop out a lot more but we also want to see how they looked in just kind of like an urban um, kind of Queen Street hipster type of um, street vibe so we're gonna jump out into the road when the light is red of course and then we are going to take some photos really really quickly so quick thing if you are going to do any street photos you really want to make sure that 
you are filming or you are taking the photos when the light is red and not when the light is green um, because obviously you don't want cars oncoming cars to come hit you or hit your clients um, and just be quick like grab the shot and be happy with the one or two opportunities you may have to get the shot um, your safety is paramount and is the most important thing so really be safe out there if you are going to try some of these shots anyways check this out